Hello everyone and this is going to be a series of videos on how to create this ice cream image that I made uh, and we will model this entirely in Houdini and render it using Karma XPU. So to get started in this lesson I'll make the waffle bowl and then in the next one we'll make the ice cream. Okay so this is the image reference that I had. So instead of making a waffle cone I saw this image and I was like okay this is interesting you know like this looks different than like a waffle cone. So I decided I'll make this. So uh, let's just switch this back to OpenGL and yeah, I'll just make a new file and we'll start off over there. Okay, so I'll just create a geometry. We'll call it ice cream. So what I want to do is let's come to the, the right view okay, and I'm going to just create like an L shape. So I'll do create in context and type in curve and we'll take a curve polygon and I'll just do a snap to geometry and let's just snap like that and maybe make it slightly smaller. Okay, so this is fine. So now the next step is I am going to resample this a bit uh, just yeah I want that side to be slightly sort of you know not completely straight yeah okay so we do this okay and also uh, let's just uh, let us generate like a curve view okay so now what I can do is I can just take a line tool uh, keep it in the x direction and we'll make it about 2 in length and I'll take an axis align so take a labs axis align and I'll put it in the center and then do a sweep so we can take a sweep and sweep this over here except that you will have to rotate this so take a transform and rotate it 90 degrees no uh, I, I never know which one to, yeah okay Let's do it minus 90. Okay, and we can reverse this. So this is this is fine, uh, except we need a whole bunch of segments. Okay, so this is good. Now I need to bend this into this particular shape. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's take another axis align. And I am going to push this in the center, but not in the Y axis. So keep that to none. Okay, so just in the X or in the Z actually. And now I can just take a, I can take a bend and press B a couple of times till we get, yeah, okay. So this is fine. And then I can just bend this into like 360, you know, except what I want is I like when it, when a, when you roll a waffle cone, uh, it doesn't really like form a perfect circle, right? It overlaps a bit. So what we can do is we can come down here in the direction and just give it a little bit of value in the Z axis. There you go, you know, sort of like that. And a slight value in the Y is also not a bad idea. So it will kind of move up like that. See, so you'll get like, so it's overlapping in both places, you know, in the Y and the Z. And then I can maybe like give it a little more bend and that's okay. So this hole is fine. Like it's not going to be seen anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So this is good. Uh, one of the things I want to do is one of the advantages of having a sweep node is we want to give it UVs. Okay. Because what I want is we want to generate this pattern. Uh, I'm not going to do UVs at all. We're going to do all of this with like BDB kind of stuff. So uh, I'm going to actually model this. Okay, so that's why we need UVs. Okay, so take UVs and turn on length, turn, turn this off, turn off length weighted UVs. Okay, so this is fine. Now, uh, if you want, you can give it a slight bit of a mountain sop. Okay, so I can just take this and you know, like keep it really low and increase the element size. And, but before that, let's give it a taper. Okay, so we'll just take a linear taper 
and again press uh, okay again take firstly take an axis align again because when you bend it it will like shift away from the center so again nothing in the y axis yeah so like see it's kind of over there when you bend it so you want to bring it back to zero okay so now take the linear taper and press b yeah and then we can just kind of you know increase that a little bit yeah okay this is fine uh, except i think it should be a little bit thinner so we'll take the curve and yeah just take this uh, maybe take an edit node here because you don't get like transform handles so just press 2 and we'll move it in a bit okay and hopefully that should be better yeah so it's not yeah it's not as this thing and maybe you can also give it a bit of a smooth so it kind of rounds off a little bit yeah okay i think this is fine uh turn this off yeah perfect there you go yeah this is fine you can like lower the bend amount a little bit okay okay and then we have our mountain which is fine the one thing we can do is let's say if you don't want any sort of anything to happen to the base only towards the top then i can come in here and there is a blend value so just turn on blend use attribute and there should be the curve view in there so like if you want to visualize the curve view it's going to look like that see so there's like nothing at the bottom and you know stuff at top or no i think it's the opposite way around let's see let's see what happens otherwise we'll reverse it okay and just type in curve view over here okay so we'll have to reverse it so take a float i think i drawn it from the top that's why the problem is there okay because if the zero point is over there so it kind of starts from there and goes downwards okay so let's just call this mask and we'll do a set always remap attribute and take curve view and come into the mountain and replace with mask okay and then just come in here and just remap this here so what will happen is like the displacement is only affecting the top and not so much at the bottom we can just adjust this see so you know so see so it's only affecting there like that part remains flat yeah i think this is okay so this is fine we don't want that much this is okay okay now that we've done this uh let's give it a slight bit of thickness so we'll do a labs thicken and just make it 0 0.02 but what we also want is we want uh, because I'm going to like generate the pattern, we need the UVs, but the UVs are currently at vertex level. So they need to be at point level for us to work with a point warp. Okay, so just take a promote. So take an attribute promote before the thicken, even after the thicken will be fine. And go from vertex to point and we want to switch the UVs. Okay, so now the UVs are at uh, point level. Like if we check this, see you have UVs at point level. Okay, so this is done and then uh, I'm going to take an attribute delete and get rid of the normals. It generates normals. Okay, and then just take a subdivide. So take a subdivide and and we'll subdivide it, uh, let's say about three. No, I, let's, go to f let's go to five. Uh, yeah, I think five should be fine or four. Okay, let's start at four and then we'll decide. I'm going to turn off this maybe uh no let's keep the thicken where it is okay like if we need it more we'll adjust it later so this is fine now let's uh let's generate the pattern so we'll take a point warp and let's plug this in and take type in uv so you will get uv coordinates and then we also want to do a uv position yeah so this will allow us to do a rotation so this goes in here and then uh, take a vector to float. So we'll need to split this and take a strip node. Yeah, take stripes. Okay. So plug in this and this comes into CD and you will get that. Uh, get a frequency of about 30 
uh, let's do 20 for now and actually no take the uh, don't take the u take the v yeah okay this is this is good yeah so take it to 30 and come into the uv position and rotate it like 45 degrees or maybe slightly lesser yeah i think this is fine let's rotate it about that much and we can try to blur it a little bit or actually we'll have to increase the this thing to five yeah there you go see so that's better and i can like make this slightly thicker or thinner and make this about 20 yeah so it blurs a bit or let's try 50 okay and then uh, duplicate this and this one will go in the other direction so take this and make it like minus 12 and then we can add these together so take an add and we add these together and then clamp it so that the value remains fixed and now take a displace along normal and displace this so put this into amount and get it like really tiny and put this into position and there we go okay now uh, like lower the amount also lower the the thickness of this and probably lower this to 20 yeah there you go okay and you know lower that a fair bit perfect there we go okay so that's our waffle cone now this depends like how much you want maybe we can at 20 it might be better yeah i think this is fine let's try to increase this to 50 no okay uh 30 yeah i think this should be fine 0 0.01 no 1 5 Okay, so this is good. We have our basic waffle cone. We can come in here to the bend and make like some minor adjustments like this. We can make it like 0 0.012. Uh, no, not that 0 0.0 in the Z axis. Yeah, so it sort of moves in a bit. So it doesn't overlap as much. Okay, so now that we've done this, like if we want, we can taper it a bit more. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay, so now the final thing I want to do is in order to sort of smoothen it out a bit, let's make this 1.8. Okay, I think, is it that much? Yeah, it is, it is that much. Okay, so now take a VDB from polygons and plug this in. Make this, uh, do fill interior, do 0 0.04 to start with, no. Lower still, 0, 0.0, no. 0, 0.06, yeah, okay. And then take a smooth, so take a VDB smooth SDF. So that will allow you to kind of like, see, there you go, you know, so that looks nice. It also kind of blends here, so it looks a little better. Uh, maybe slightly lower it a bit and then take a noise so take a volume noise SDF I'm going to set this to closest point uh, do a min max and keep this to 0 0.01 and keep this to Berlin so let's plug that in and see what we get yeah, it's trying to eat up everything inside. So 0 0.006. Yeah, and also, uh, yeah, I think we'll have to increase the thickness a little bit. There really isn't enough. Mm. Let's go to 0 0.04. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's that's better. And. Enable remap and just kind of like, you know, have, let it let it be in like a few places. Yeah, let's just see what we get. That's actually not bad, but it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be eating up the whole thing. You don't want that. Okay, so let's make the 0 
and let's make the 0 0.06 yeah okay I think that is that is good and just you know like have it be in like very few places okay and uh, let's get this down to 0 0.004 so we'll get some more detail on the whole thing yeah I think that is okay uh, Let's try to go up to 0 0.01. I want a little bit of noise, but not a lot. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, that's okay. You know, so we get like a little bit of breakage like that, but not too much. And the RAM sort of helps, otherwise it'll just be like everywhere. See, it's, it's this. So make sure you have the remap enabled. So it only, you know, breaks in specific places. Yeah, maybe 0 0.02 should be good enough. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So that's as far as like, you know, the waffle cone is concerned. And then I can just take a convert. So we'll do convert VDB and set it to polygons. So that's about four, that's about four million, that's about a million polygons. Yeah, okay, that's a fair bit. Uh, let's do one thing, let's get this to 0 0.005. That should be okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Or no, since we're making just one of them, it's, it's okay. You know, just go high. Okay, and as a final thing, I would like to give it some coloring because again, most of it, this is going to go at like point color. So let's keep it at 0 0.004. Okay, so take a, take a curvature. So you'll get a labs measure curvature. And we'll drop that in. It'll take a bit of time because this is a relatively high geometry. And just take everything and just, you know, bump it up a lot. So we'll get about 2000 and 2000. This will hopefully show up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And we don't want to export color. So just, you know, get rid of that. And then take a color node. And I can just give it some color. So we'll do RAM from attribute concavity. Uh, no, let's do convexity. Yeah. Uh, let's also blur a little bit. So let's give it a blur of 20. Yeah, okay. And then uh, let's do one. Let's keep this here. And I can just, I can right click on the attribute ramp and take sample. Uh, hold on. Yeah, right click right click here do sample screen color and then just kind of drag a line from here to there yeah there you go so you'll get this and then you'll just have to adjust it a little bit so just you know like remove a lot of these it will generate a lot so maybe there is a node to clean this up as well but I'm not sure this shouldn't be like this dark so yeah just desaturate it Actually, just keep like one of the colors because this one is fine. Uh, let's press D. I'll get the diffuse color higher because you can't make out otherwise like what is going on. Okay. And like this one should be here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the waffle. Okay, so the next lesson we will make the ice cream.